feel about Lupe Fiasco as Joe Biden's replacement? It never happened. It never happened. Nobody can replace Joe. You know, um, nobody can replace anybody from Slaughterhouse. If we, if if Lupe was to was to take Joe's spot and it would be me, Lupe, Joel, and Crook, then it would be just be a different group. It wouldn't be Slaughterhouse. It would. Just up y'all it's jay coffee talk so recently i don't know if you guys caught i did a video on it on my channel but lupe fiasco came out um you know and he, he put a tweet out there and uh asked slaughterhouse the members of slaughterhouse basically yo can i get joey's spot can i get joe budden's spot and uh me as a fan of hip-hop as a fan of slaughterhouse um, I was excited. I was like, yo, this is dope. I could see this working. You know what I mean? But um, as you heard Royce the five nine say, it had never happened. You know, um, and he went on to say that nobody could take Joe's spot. And that, you know, if 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 they ever did do something like that, like Lupe, Royce, Crooked Eye, Joel Ortiz, it wouldn't be Slaughterhouse. You know what I mean? That there cannot be slaughterhouse without those four original members you know that that, that there's a, a certain specific dynamic that you know that exists between those members and you know he kind of talked about the formation of the group just you know when they were collaborate collabing and getting together and basically like recording content you know footage of them all together whether it be in the in the studio or just them chilling talking about music that you know the fans of hip-hop all were excited and everything like that and i don't know man i mean i guess slaughterhouse is is dead you know what i mean i guess slaughterhouse has been dead basically you know that's that's not really news the members of slaughterhouse what was it like a year year and a half ago or so all came out and was like yo slaughterhouse is is done that's it joe's retired it's a wrap i believe crooked eye might have been the first one to say he's leaving uh you know after joe announced his uh retirement and uh you know that's that you know what i mean and it's disappointing to me you know um we never got to see that glass house project um every time i talk about slaughterhouse i basically say the same thing we never got to see glass house and it just felt like we were supposed to see so much more you know what i mean royce Joel Ortiz, Crooked Eye, Joe Budden. Um, it, it felt like I, I don't know. I was just picturing so much coming from from Slaughterhouse, especially when they sh signed with Shady Records. And um, you know, in the end, I gotta say it's a disappointment. Really, I don't want to say Slaughterhouse is a failure or the group's a failure, but we just as hip hop fans, I, I just kind of feel like we got robbed a little bit, you know. And um, come to find out since as things have you know went along uh different different things have have transpired you know different members of the group have said different things it kind of seems like it was paul rosenberg you know who kind of held things up and i don't know man it's uh it's whack that's a l for for hip-hop for the culture for the music in my opinion and um that's whack paul rosenberg if you're really the one that that you know um held things up that's lame on your part but um i don't know man shady records really lost out really dropped the ball y'all but uh get in the comments let me know your guys thoughts on this thanks for tuning in man slaughterhouse is dead it's up to the channel let's talk about this in the comments i'm out of here peace <laughs>